Contemporary music is, is essential because you don't get to any of the old music without that having been contemporary at some point. Well, and it's easy to draw a line between classical music and contemporary classical, but when it comes down to it, uh, these composers are expressing all the same emotions, you know, Beethoven versus some of the young composers whose music we're playing this week. They're expressing the exact same emotions, just using slightly different language. Both Jeremy Ganter and myself, who do the programming, have been really observing a lot of very interesting things going on in the world of classical music and a lot of places where the lines between classical music and all other kinds of music have been really blurring. And So we've been trying to put together uh, a series that would have uh, a lot of spontaneity, that would kind of break the mold. So we've really been trying to do something that breaks down uh, the barriers that a lot of people feel to classical music and just let them uh, kind of get into the mode uh, of Duke Ellington who said, if it sounds good, it is good. Forget about the labels. We've actually been playing with the same four people for 14 years, which is crazy. So it's been thousands and thousands of hours of work over the, the past bit, but we, we also we try to have a good time with it. I mean, the goal of it is not for people to know that you work. The goal is you, you put in the time so that it looks simple.